What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef talk. And today I'm gonna to tell you four members of Cleanup Crew that should be in every reef tank. Now, if you're new to the channel, I put out a video every Friday at 4 p.m. UK time showing you how to set up and maintain an awesome reef tank. So if that's your goal, have a think about subscribing. Right, let's take a look. First up then are conches. They're an unusual type of snail that have a trunk they use as an algae hoover. They're a great addition as your first cleanup crew as they'll eat the brown dustings of diatoms you often see in new tanks. They also bury themselves in sand and munch on whatever they can find below the surface, so they'll help to keep your sand bed clean. And as if that's not enough, they're brilliant characters with googly little eyes on stalks and a weird self-writing mechanism. The only restriction is that larger hermit crabs will kill them to steal their shells. And that's one of the reasons you won't find hermits on this list. Next up is the blue tuxedo urchin. And these guys are particularly adept at getting rid of pesky green hair algae. They're largely nocturnal, so don't expect to see them much during the day. But by night, they will terminate pretty much any type of algae they come across. They also have the amusing habit of picking up things like shells to use as camouflage, although they have been known to pick up loose coral frags too, so make sure you putty all of your corals down well. Although that does work both ways, and I once had an urchin locate and bring back a zoophrag I dropped behind the rock work. And number two is the red banded cleaner shrimp. In any cleanup crew you need something that's agile enough to go after food your fish miss. These guys will do just that, and unlike fire shrimp, boxer shrimp and hermit crabs, they're totally peaceful. They'll also set up a cleaning station where fish can go to get dead skin and parasites nibbled away. In terms of workload and algae eating, these aren't exactly top of the pile, but they look awesome and do funny things like nibble your arm when you reach into the tank. They do shed their skin, so if you think yours has died, have a closer look to see if it's just growing up. And finally, we have the Blackfoot Troker Snail. If you haven't seen the film The Constant Gardener, it's basically Ralph Fiennes dressed as a Troker Snail eating algae off of glass and rocks. The only time they ever stop eating algae is to make new baby gardeners. And once you have half a dozen or so of these in your tank, they'll breed in sufficient numbers to keep on top of your algae without ever taking off into plague proportions. The great thing about these guys is that they keep algae at bay before it has the chance to take hold. They're an essential part of any reef aquarium, and I wouldn't be without them. So there you have it then. Those are the four members of Cleanup Crew that I would have in every reef tank I set up. If you enjoyed the video then, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week's video. And until next time, happy reefing.